You have got to be kidding. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Dante here for the Voice of Reason podcast. Welcome to my channel. And I don't know who at Crunchyroll green lights this trash, but whoever they are, they need to lose their job. They need to be fired immediately. I am not even joking. This show is bad why is it that when americans create their version of anime they tend to jack it up look at this look at it it's been downvoted to oblivion there is no turning back okay i think they even turned off the comments that is how bad this show is oh my lord this is bad Thank you for tuning into my channel again. Um, if you have, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Let's just get right into this nonsense, please. Okay, so hi, Guardian Spice or Guardian Spice or whatever the hell you guys want to call it. It's a show about four female inserts. I mean, four characters who embark on a journey to save the world, as per usual. But this time is different. It's through the power of love and friendship because that has not been played out already. In this weird, un <laughs> the terrible Steven Universe ripoff. It's a realm of magic, a school of heroes. Four fierce girls must sharpen their skills, must be true to their hearts and trust their friendship to defend their world from emerging darkness <laughs> i don't know if i was um i talked about this in a different episode where i said americans have this thing where they love to force feed you this love and friendship garbage oh i think it was the flash and i was talking about the flash i said americans love to force feed us love and friendship as the key to like their the power of, the, uh, how, of, of how powerful they are <laughs> without the love without the power of love and friendship they cannot succeed that is what they like to force feed us so this show which is a uh, blatant mockery to japanese animation as you can see it's supposed to have a 100 percent creative staff but when i watched the interview from these people on uh, the, uh, the crunchyroll webpage it seems like it was just 100 percent women uh, i don't know if that's supposed to be diverse um but if it's 100 percent women it doesn't seem as diverse to me as they are claiming it to be but yeah this is obviously a mockery to japanese animation lazy american version of animation this is that this is america's version of anime and it's hideous just about any of its sources where you can go watch the trailer the first and the second i believe there's two of them it's being ratioed ratio to hell and back like downvoted to oblivion like i said before and i think there's a footage of one of the creators of the show basically talking shit about men like this is what i can't stand you can make an you can make a show without talking crap about men there's no need for that and if you're gonna say well only men dislike the show that is bull crap because there are a lot of women look it up go to any groups on facebook or whatever there are a lot of women who are just like this show looks like hot trash and you know what else this is maybe just me right but i feel Crunchyroll was given an opportunity to create a whole new show that would I guess you could say show their appreciation to the Japanese animation like the reason why their streaming services is you know existing this is it so here's our opportunity to create a show right and this is what they make this is their golden idea and I don't know who like I said whoever greenlit this idea needs to resign 
or needs to fight I mean, need to be fired so last thing I'm gonna say on this trashy show is this it looks like crap I don't think anyone is looking forward to this including myself I am NOT looking forward to this their primary goal is to entertain the masses not force feed us their identity politics or any politics whatsoever that is what they do that ruins their programming. Their TV shows are crap because they force feed us whatever politics that they want to feed us. So, without even seeing this show, it gets a 0 out of 5. I'm not remotely excited for this. They've been given an opportunity to give us a great show and they failed once again. I don't care if the creative staff were women. I don't care if the creative staff were black. I don't, I don't care if the staff were white. Or, I don't care. <laughs> don't care. I don't care. If they're all men. Doesn't. I don't care. I don't care. It looks like crap. I'm not looking forward to it. Zero out of five. Zero excitement. Stop feeding us your politics, okay? Just create a create a show that we can all enjoy. You know, that's all you need to do. That's your job. It's inter to entertain us, okay? Once you can figure that out, just maybe you guys will start doing better. And getting more viewership but until then the show is trash and i hope that no one watches it and if you do watch it come back to this episode and let's talk about it because i i want to hear your thoughts on it go and watch my previous episode and where i talk about anime versus cartoons and this show came at a perfect time because <laughs> this is exactly why i said our old cartoons are way better than what we have presently Thank you guys for tuning into the show. I am your host, Dante. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Show some support. I would greatly appreciate it. Drop a comment in the comment section. And yeah, I will see you on the next one. Peace.